Ken Jennings was a Jeopardy champion for 74 shows. I was with him for four months. I mean, I think David Letterman was joking once that Ken Jennings and I were going to move to Massachusetts and take out a marriage license because we had spent so much time together. So I remember just for months wondering, you know, does, does Alex like me? Like, what does he think of having the same guy here every night? Is he, does he think I'm ruining his show? If I was him, I would not want a sidekick, you know? Like, he's the franchise. It got so that in the latter stages of his time on Jeopardy, I didn't know what to talk to him about. We had exhausted every element of conversation. I would ask him, Ken, make suggestions. What do you want to talk about today, please? But it would get chummy. Like, he'd be taking questions from the crowd, and uh, somebody would have a contestant, he'd be like, I don't know, Ken. Uh why don't you handle this one or something like that? Or he'd have questions for me. Name the three defendants in Judgment at Nuremberg. He loves the movie, the Spencer Tracy movie, Judgment at Nuremberg. I don't know, Alex. Uh, you tell me. When he lost, I had a tear in my eye because I had spent so much time with him, had felt that I had gotten to know him pretty well, had felt comfortable in his company, and had felt that we had developed a rapport and a friendship. And it was tough when I had to say goodbye to Ken Jennings. But I remember after the last show, uh, after I lost, um, I remember him coming back on stage just in his shirt sleeves, which is weird, you know? You've never seen Alex you know, without a Perry Ellis jacket on. Uh, and he was a little choked up. He was, he was very moved. He was like, oh, Ken, you know, we're going we're gonna to miss you around here, you know? And it suddenly hit me that, uh, you know, how Alex did like me, and I, and I was very emotional, too. I was like, oh, that means a lot, Alex. Thank you, you know? Uh, I was very touched.